it's really a cold day in bloom today and i honestly think that i'm staying in cape town <laughs> because it's been raining this morning again it's so weird i'm not used to this and um yeah so hence the beanie my hair is not looking great and it's keeping my head quite cozy and um yeah, it's lovely to be with you. Hello, Cludet. Um, she says, hello, moiste mensis van Warner Beach. Hello, Cludet. Yes, welcome. Um, vertel for my, yeah, tell me how it's going with all of you. How's the blocks going? Hello, Lynn from Interlocking Crochet Cape Town. <laughs> it's lovely that you're here, my friend. Um, Marissa Swart, hello van Armeloe, hello Marissa, welcome, welcome. Um, so tell me how's everyone, how's the weather currently? Are you sitting with, um, with your crochet and your blocks, maybe some knitting? Um, Hikel Liffy, hello Jeline, love and greetings from Lambert's Bay, hello Hikel Liffy. Rosemary Moelman, hi there, all good this year. Oh, hello Rosemary. Almeri, hello at Centurion. Hello, Almeri. In Interlocking Crochet, Lynn, it's cold and windy in the Western Cape. I heard it's quite cold. Um, but it seems like we are having Cape Town weather this side as well. I'm sitting with my, let me see to, if I can maybe push this a little bit down. There we go. No, you still can't see my crochet, but it's fine. Sonia Rutman, hello Jaleen, Sonia here from Live Light, hello Sonia, <laughs> and um, Drumplate Alpaca Centrum, hello Sonia, it is good that you are here, thank you that you are here so is, um, Independence Yarn Crafts, hi everyone, hello Leonie from Independence Yarn Crafts, and I'm throwing away my crochet, <laughs> oh, let me quickly see what's going on, I've been knitting, like a crazy person on my ranunculus today. So hopefully I'll join Independence Crochet later for, um, Independence Yarn Crafts a little bit later for the make along, but that is now beyond the point. Um, Anne says, hello Yaline and everyone, greetings from Victoria, Australia on a Saturday light evening. Oh, that's awesome. It's wonderful to have you, Anne. Wonderful. How's the weather in um, Australia? Ike Liffy. Hi, Independence Yarn. Love your channel. Yes. Yes. Independence Yarn Crafts has an, has an amazing channel. You need to go say hi to her as well there. Um, yeah, so the life is all about crocheting together for this amazing initiative called the Safari Crochet Marathon. Um, which is going to be held on the 26th and 27th of May. So that's in two weeks' time. Time really went by fast. Last week, I had the pleasure of hosting Lihandra and Monique, um, from, which is the organizers. And it was so much fun having them on here on the live, asking all the questions that we wanted to ask. And... It felt like a good time, crocheting away and just having great, great fun. I really enjoyed that interview. And um, so if you haven't watched that or you need more information, that is really the perfect video to watch because they ask, um, answer all the questions in terms of what you can do, what difference can you make, where is the blankets going to, um, all the questions. All the questions is asked there and answered there as well. And so that is a good point um, to start and if you have any questions. But if even if you have questions today, we'll answer them also here today. All right, so let's see what's happening in the chat. So if I'm um, looking away, it's not because I don't want to look at you. It's because I'm, I'm checking the chat because it goes too quick on my phone. I'm currently doing the live from my cell phone and I'm having my screen open here on my laptop to see what is the comments. All right, Hikalifi says, hi, Independence Yarn, love your channel. Anita, hello, Anita. Anita Wessels is also here from Bloemfontein. Hello, Amal. Last two rows on husband socks. So that's what she's busy with. Independence Yarn Craft says, oh, thank you, Hikalifi. 
And then Anne from Australia says it's 10 30 p.m. here and 7 degrees Celsius where we live. All right, yeah, so it's it's already quite winter there in Australia, I can see. What is your day and um, time temperatures, Anne? Because uh, we are currently really dipping um, in Bloemfontein. Today, not as much, but I see by next week, Friday, Saturday, we are going towards like 13 degrees during the day. And um, yeah, and then it becomes like two degrees, one degrees minus in the minus degrees. But I think our Bloemfontein people are not really used to having a lot of rain in the winter time. So the rain and not seeing the sun during the day, maybe it's just an emotional thing that it's more colder than it really is. But the thing that I absolutely love about Bloemfontein is that during the day when the sun is out, it's lovely. The sun makes a difference. But the moment the sun sets, it's really cold. And then you have that some days, a few days through the winter time in Bloemfontein where it's really cold during the day as well, even though the sun is up and yeah, shining in all its glory. <laughs> but um, it's not that bad today. Claudette's asking, is it very cold in Bloom today? Well, I really, it is one of the colder days we had so far. So I can feel that the winter is coming. And um, Sonia Rittman says, beide my sisters were in Bloemfontein. Oh, genuine. Nice. So both the sisters stay in Bloemfontein, Sonia says. Miss hulle baie hier van die suide van Johannesburg by die Alpaca Centrum. Oh, she's misses her sisters. Oh, Sonia. If you come around and come and visit your sisters, please make, please tell me. Please let, inform me. It will be lovely to see you. Gina. Hello, Gina Shepherd. I also do not like winter rain. Don't mind deep cold, but dry. Yes, exactly. And you know what? It's so funny. The, the winter time in Cape Town with the rain. So Cape Town has a little bit difference in terms of rainy seasons than in, for instance, Central South Africa. So they have their rainy season um, in winter time. So it's always like cloudy. Typical London weather. Cloudy. Not as cold though, but cold. And for me, it really makes me depressed. I'm not doing well with cloudy winter time. It doesn't 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 sit well with me. Um, Sonia says, "Ons het heerlijke sonnige weer vandag in Gauteng. So sunny weather in Gauteng. Oh, that sounds lovely, lovely, lovely. You know what? I have a, a pot of um, soup on on the slow cooker, and so it's um, vegetable and beef." soup oh i cannot wait to dive into that pot soup in the winter time is my absolute favorite so when i'm done here guess what i'm doing <laughs> um Hika Leafy says it's nearly always windy at the bay and sometimes mist at three in the afternoon really but it makes for the best crochet in that atmosphere oh yes right and please just tell me you have a fireplace because that would be even more spectacular Sonia says, I really want to meet you, Yalin. Looking forward to meeting you in real life. Oh, Sonia, it will be lovely. Thank you for always sharing all the love in the yarn world from your Life Light um, Facebook page. It's really appreciated. Claudette says, Ons is nog een somerkleere en plakjes hier aan die sidekiss. Wat? Maar dit het vandag gereen, maar die son, son kom terug. So, in the southern um, coast, it's still like summer. They are wearing shorts and flip-flops. And it did rain a little bit, but the sun is back again. Oh, wow, Claudette. <laughs> so tell me, how is your blocks coming along? If you are participating, how many blocks have you done so far? Um, I honestly don't know how many blocks I've done. I'll have to count mine. It's here next to me. I think you can see it in the frame. Um, I don't get the chance to crochet every day, but I'm really making a, an effort to pack my bag with my yarn and my crochet hook. Yesterday we were at the doctor, both my husband and my daughter is really, really sick. Um, I think it's just the changing of the weathers. My daughter is struggling with ear infection and really bad throat infection. My husband maybe just have like a, a slight or a mild flu. And um, 
so while we were waiting, I was and in the car, I was totally having crocheting in the car, my blocks. <laughs> so that I'm trying to use the time that I have um, for the Safari Crochet Marathon. And we also had a get together here in Bloemfontein, our group in Bloemfontein at Anniki's place. Um, on Thursday afternoon, I think it was at five o'clock and we were there for almost an hour because our local newspaper had an interview with us and took some pictures. It was a lot of fun. And I also got a little bit, a little bit of crocheting time there as well. So that was quite fun. I'm really looking forward to the whole get together on the 26th and the 27th of May. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. Apparently we're going to have butternut soup. We're going to have curry and rice um, there will be coffee on demand <laughs> and tea. And um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be so cozy and so much fun and oh, just a gorgeous atmosphere. All right. Anne says, I totally agree with you with um, regarding winter soups and casseroles. Oh, yes, a good casserole and stew is just the best. Sonia, my mond water now gang af for die sop. Geniet elke happie en dink aan my. Ek is dol oor sop. Dit maak twee van ons. Ons gaan ook sop bedien met die Ekel Marathon by die Alpaca Centrum. So Sonia is saying she loves soup. She absolutely loves soup and she is really um, say, see me saying we're going to have some soup. She really wants soup now too. But I will have some for you. I'll think of you Sonia when we're, when we're eating our soup. And they will also have soup for the um, Safari Crochet Mar Marathon. I believe Alpaca um, Centre will be in Joburg, will be also hosting the 30-hour um, Safari Crochet Marathon. So there will be soup. You need to be there. <laughs> Almari, Almari says, I'm on 15 blocks. Yaline, do you know if there's someone collecting blocks in Centurion? All right, Almeri, um, I will send you, I think I have you on my WhatsApp. I'll send you the venues currently. And I know that there is also a place. Now it's on my phone. I wanted to check on my phone. <laughs> um, but there's, 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 there's definitely people there. I can, I can promise you that. You'll be sorted out, Almeri. I'll contact you or make contact with me in WhatsApp, in WhatsApp if I forget. That's really a possibility. My mind these days, Joy, I'm struggling with memory. Maybe it's just because I'm so busy. Um, Leoni from Independence Yarn Craft says, I want to start one now. What are the requirements again? Okay, so Leoni, the requirements is that you need to crochet a block. Um, it can be, it must be done with double knit yarn, four millimeter hook. It must just measure 20 by 20 centimeters. So um, that is the basic requirement. And then um, you can do a corner to corner, 20, 20, 20 by 20 centimeter block. You can do what, uh, doesn't matter what the block looks like on the inside, as long as it is a 20 by 20 centimeter block. And then um, you can send in one block, you can send in 10 blocks, you can send in 40 or 50 blocks, it really doesn't matter. Every block assists to make a blanket. So they're going to take those blocks, 36 blocks that was done by multiple people. If you can do your own blanket, that's perfect, but that's not a requirement at all. And then they're going to do 36 blocks. So they're either going to make a six by six block blanket that is more suitable for the older people, for those that is in, um, wheelchairs if my memory serves me well you can also do a five by seven block um, which is also 36 blocks um, that is maybe more suitable for a younger child's bed for instance um, yeah so that is the basic requirements and then how can you participate you can crochet blocks you can give the yarn if you can't crochet um, you can even donate some money. There's really people looking for yarn. That's really a need for yarn currently. Um, so if you're able to maybe donate yarn or give a uh, monies or donation in terms of money, that will be really appreciated. And then you really need to talk to Leandra and Monique. 
um, the details of Leandra and Monique is in the description down this video. So if you re-watch this video, because I see sometimes there's people that don't understand this, so let me explain this as well. While we're doing the live, we're able to talk live here with each other, right? And then when the live is done and you are watching this video at the later stage, um, it might feel like you can talk to me, but I will not be able to talk back because it's a replay of the live. But you can still comment down in the comment section below and, they, and in such a way communicate with, with me. All right. Where are we now? Sonia says, I'm almost finished with my first blanket. Wow, Sonia, well done. Shades of grey and turquoise border around each square. That is beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. Gina says, I made lamb ready for Matt. Oh my goodness. And a North Indian curry for me. Gina, you can catch me. I can, I, I can, I'm re I can do any, anything for curry. I'm a curry girl. Like totally, totally, totally. Oh, it's, it's one of my favorite things. And typical Indian curry. Real winter comfort food. I'm about to start my squares. Oh, wow, Gina. Claudette says, Sonia, your bar, she clinks stunning. Sonia is saying to Claudette, ah, so Claudette is saying to Sonia, the, the blanket looks, sounds wonderful. Almeri says, we'll do Yaleen. Rosemary, I love soup too, especially in the slow cooker. It's true, right? For me, it feels like having soup on the stove in a, um, what do you call it, a casserole? No, what do you call that? A pot? <laughs> And having it on quick setting, quickly, quickly do the soup versus slow cooked soup in a slow cooker, there's just a difference for me. Maybe it's because the anticipation is so much longer to get the soup ready. Maybe it's that. But um, with, you know, I'm going to have my soup. I'm already thinking about my food. I love food. I, for me, meals are my goals through the day. <laughs> It's really bad. My mom had this problem with me since I had a since I was a child, where I would ask her, "What are we eating tonight?" And then she would say something, and then we're like, and then, and then tomorrow afternoon, and then I would really, for me, that was like the highlights of my day is the food that I'm going to get. So it's bad, but who cares? Um, Rosemary says I have not been able to crochet much this week. Yeah, we've been busy, right? I'm on my fourth block and will make more in the following two weeks. Oh, that's awesome, Rosemary. And Sonia, thanks, Claudette. So let me quickly count my blocks. And I'm a very naughty girl because, again, I'm always promising myself I'm going to work away the ends and then I don't do it. And then I'm always mad at myself for not doing the ends. There's, there's the ends not work the way. Anyway, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plus one, two, three, four, five. Fifteen blocks. Fifteen blocks done. It's going well. Would you not say that? I think it's going well. Yeah, so fifteen blocks done. I'm almost halfway with my blanket. So my my goal is to just give the blocks that I can do. It will be wonderful if I can actually join my blocks as a, bl as a blanket. But it's difficult, you know, with a working full day um, and life, just living life. It's not always easy to get to the goal that you want to, that you maybe set for yourself. For instance, doing a blanket. So I'm more, um, what do you say, maybe more realistic in my approach of setting goals, like completing a blanket might not be as realistic currently. Um, that is just how it is. So yes, if I, can, if I can give a lot of blocks, that's just wonderful. If I can do a whole blanket, that will be excellent. <laughs> yeah, so um, 15 blocks, but somebody else also had 15 blocks. Almeri! Yes, me and you are on the same page there. <laughs> All right. So I believe the joining of the blocks also takes a lot of time. So I don't know if I'm going to have that time to be able to join my blocks. Yes. 
So I'm having all the pinkish colors. So this is probably going to go for a lady. Um, all these blocks towards a blanket for a lady. Um, I would, in the next time that I choose yarn, I would be more focused on having colors that is able to be used for, you know, either a male or female or, the, or a child. Um, I was not really considerate in that thought processes when I was buying the yarn. I was just, oh my word, this yarn is beautiful. I'm going to buy this. So <laughs> I did not think about males or females. And, um, but that's something that I would, that I've learned from this experience is I will be more maybe conscious of how I choose my colored yarns um, in future projects. Yeah, did, did you maybe, what conclusions did you come onto with regards to the things that you're making for a community project? Because I was not considerate in that way. I wasn't thinking about that. All right, there's no more comments, so I can still carry on crocheting on my block, my pinkish block. <laughs> yeah, so um, this morning, woke up, I actually slept in, it was so great, and um, we really needed the rest, the whole family. Um, so, yeah, got up, cleaned the kitchen, started the soup, um, ate obviously also, did some washing, and then it was load shedding from 12 to 2. So load shedding really um, sets the tone in how you, you know, plan things in the house and with this channel, for instance, also. So, um, yeah, this is the best time because at least then it gives me some buffer time to for if the um, power is coming back a bit later. This load shedding is making things... Your, your, your life is really managed in a different way, right? You're, you're managing your life according to load shedding these days. That's how it feels like. That is just the reality we are facing. But nevertheless... Um, I was using those two hours to work on another project, which is lovely also. I didn't crochet. Um, Amanda Roth. Hello, Amanda. Welcome, welcome. To answer Amri's questions, there are three venues in Centurion where she can deliver her blocks. I can list the Centurion's venues here if it's allowed. Yes, please. Yes, Amanda, you are definitely more than welcome to do that. Um, Anita Vessels, my, my blocks are blues and grey with a bit of other gender neutral colours. Oh, Anita, you're so clever. And I saw those blocks on Thursday. They were beautiful. <laughs> Almer is thanking Amanda. Claudette. Oh my word, jylle. Het jylle al die nieuwe kies met jaans gesien? Dis lang print wat lyk soos kernkijks. Dis so mooi en die wolle het name soos Tafelberg, Drakensberg, Goldreef en dis so Suid-Afrika. Okay, Claudette is saying that there's new yarns from Kismet Yarns. It's a local um, acrylic yarn that we have here in South Africa. And there's new yarns. I haven't seen those, Claudette. I'll have to go and Google. <laughs> and then Leonie says, need to say bye for the Renankeres knit along. Block one is past halfway. Woo! We'll catch up afterwards. Oh, thanks, Leonie. Hopefully, I'll see you. If I'm done here, then I'll hop onto your um, knit along. Amanda, with phone numbers. Yes, please, Amanda. That's fine. You can do that. All right. So, Almarie, have a look in the chat. Amanda is going to post the venues of Centurion as well as contact numbers. Um, 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 Brenda. Brenda, are you still here? If you're still here, let me know. Brenda was asking before the live, in the live chat, before the live started. She said, is there anybody else in Richards Bay or in Pangani? I would like to do the marathon with someone alone is not nice. Yes, Brenda. Um, I, can, I can imagine and I understand that it can feel that you're on an island. Um, maybe Amanda can assist also there. Amanda, do you know of a venue at... I'm throwing you under the bus here. I'm so sorry. But I cannot access my phone now. Is there anybody else in Richards Bay or in, in Pangani that can assist? 
with a marathon. If you know about a venue, please let me know. Um, because Brenda is in need. So Brenda, if you're still here, let me know if you're still, if you're still here in the chat or watching the video. All right, so my block is going very well. You know, I love the, the other ladies' blocks that is having different colors within the block, changing yarns within a granny square. And honestly, I'm lazy. I'm, I'm not doing that. I am... Um, the less I change colors, the better for my gro for my mojo, my crojo, as they would say. <laughs> um, Claudette says, "I will not, I will not say anything. I will not break I can so come back seven. I will come eight come back at the clock at the marathon time. Claudette, this is amazing. Claudette is saying." that she has done seven blankets already. She's busy with the eighth and she's trying to let um, be done with that one before the marathon marathon on the 26th, 27th May. Claudette, you're like a machine. <laughs> so where do you have time to crochet? That is amazing. Tell us the secret of getting um, seven blankets done. Seven blankets? Seven blankets? That's amazing. Rosemary says, um, I love that pink yaline. Oh my goodness, isn't it gorgeous? I agree, Rosemary. It is really, truly beautiful. Um, I love this pink. I, I love my colors. I really, really do. Um, yeah, maybe. Tell me in the live chat. Um, how many hours do you crochet a day or do you commit to your craft, whether it's um, crocheting or knitting? How many hours do you have time to actually, you know, enjoy your craft? For me, it really depends because like I've, I, like I've said, I've, I've, I'm working full time and sometimes work really is just really busy. <laughs> Um, I was in Pretoria a few weeks back where I was sitting in meetings up until nine o'clock at night and I was exhausted. I, I had to um, drive back on a Saturday morning, very early hours in the morning to get home. And um, when I got home, I was so exhausted. I was, it really pulls from me and, you know, not being able to then really have time to crochet or to knit. And it really makes me miserable in, in, in some way. So sometimes it's just not possible to crochet. I always try to crochet or knit at least a few minutes a day. But it's not always that easy, right? Okay. Laura. Hello, Laura. Laura um, says hello at the Pup Nut George. A very, very... Um, it seems like a rainy George in, in the Western Cape. Yeah, it seems like the, west, the winter really started in the Western Cape. <laughs> Sonia, work interferes with my craft. Sonia, I feel you. That's exactly my problem. That's exactly my problem too. It's, <laughs> I wish I could do this all day, every day, but it's not possible. Right. Um, yeah. So I try to, if I can get it at least 30 minutes per day, um, somewhere, somewhere, somehow, um, most of my work nights now or work days now, when I get home, it's busy in the house, you know, family life, um, all these things. And then most nights these days, only at about past nine at night, I have time to wind down. Sometimes it's quarter to ten. Actually, most times it's it's that time of the night. And then I actually want to wind down to be able to sleep. But then I'm sitting in the bed, either crocheting or knitting, so that I can just feel a little bit of sanity and peace. And um, because crocheting and knitting really brings me that um, meditative, almost mindful, 
mindfulness time where I can be just me and the yarn and my crochet hook and, and feel at peace. And it, it helps me as a, as a stress management technique as well. So I really try to some way squeeze in <laughs> my crochet and knitting. And then there's some days like today, for instance, where I was now sitting for two hours and knitting while it was load shedding, which was absolutely glorious. Um, I love, I love to be able to have that amount of time to be able to knit or crochet. That's awesome. All right, Anita says, Sonia, I agree. I knit and crochet in the evenings to help move the focus away from work. Yeah, it's, it's really, um, it really assists um, if you have a full-time work, really a stressful one for that matter as well. Well, we all experience stresses and then be able to, you know, just, do something totally creative and I think that creativity also is really soothing for our souls and um, yeah it, it makes a big difference in our lives absolutely all right Amanda says I don't see a van venue for Richard's Bay or in Vangeni yet I will find out from Leandro oh thank you so very much Amanda I don't think oh sorry if everything is like shaking I am um, I don't know if Brenda is still there or still here in the chat. Okay, Lynn from Interlock and Crochet Cape Town. As a designer, if you don't know, Lynn designs the most amazing interlocking patterns. So interlocking crochet Cape Town, if you don't, if you don't know maybe interlocking crochet and you are curious or you love interlocking crochet and you want to see more, that's your goal. That is your goal. Lynn, she's amazing. As a designer, I spent eight hours plus day. You see now, that's amazing. That, that is the life I want. I love it so much that it becomes annoying when things like eating, sleeping, showering interferes with my progress. <laughs> oh, you know, yes, it's, it's quite... <laughs> Lynn, you, makes me, you make me laugh because... I become so annoyed, even though I'm so exhausted at night and I know I have to be responsible and put down my crochet hook so that I can sleep, so that I can get up early in the morning to get ready for work again. That really annoys me. It really does. How do they say adulting is hard and being responsible is hard? So. 10 o'clock at night when I have to put down my crochet hook, I'm, I'm really not a happy chappy at all. <laughs> and sometimes I crochet like this, like I'm, try, I'm, I'm almost falling asleep, right? And then, and then but, but I want to crochet, I want to crochet. It's, and then most of the times, the next day when I pick up my crochet work or my knitting, it's an absolute mess. I have to rip back two rows or whatever the case might be. So it's always not always the best to crochet when you're so tired because you just mess it up. But um, you don't want to stop. You just don't want to stop. Sonia is saying, me to Anita. I don't own a television. That helps. Oh, yes, right? I try and crochet or mozaic every free minute I have. Yeah. That's basically how my life looks like. I think my family sometimes think there's just yarn all over the house or projects all over the house because there's a project here in my study, there's a project at, in, in the room or I carry everything all over the place. Um, in the TV room, there's just things yarn related all over the house. <laughs> but they came to love me like that. So that is awesome. Um, Sonia says, time management at its best. <laughs> Gina is saying, I crochet about three hours a day and separate my designs from my fun crochet. Oh yes, I think that's a good strategy. If you don't know, Gina is also a crochet designer. Um, she's actually one of the designers that now designed for Crochet for Cancer in the beginning of the year. 
so giving um, back to the cancer um, in South Africa. And um, so you must go and have a look at her designs as well. Um, working on designs can stretch the brain and sometimes I just want to relax in the evening. Then I do something else. Yeah, absolutely. I think you have to be able to, to maybe do it like that. We have to be able to say this is work related or design related. This is really just fun crochet. Uh, I've been in a, in, a, in a spot lately where I really want to do all the easy stuff. I don't want to think too much about things because um, I'm just trying to really have a, a relaxed time. And I've only recently started um, a knitting project, um, the Renankula sweater. But that even that is not really a lot of thinking and counting and, you know, focusing. Um, I'm almost done with my sweater within basically one week and um so i'm trying to do all the fat all the like the just knit 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 don't think about things just crochet double crochets for a granny stitch no thinking required there i'm trying to do all the easy things and that really brings me joy currently so i'm slowly but surely diving into um a little bit more things that I need to think about or focus when I'm doing it. Um, so that is fun. It shows me that I'm recuperating in terms of just being overworked, um, which I really felt in the first few months of this year. Yeah, so yo, three hours a day, Gina, that's, that's really a blessing, um, I feel, you know, to be able to have that time to to crochet have you seen on the big whatsapp group um marietta she's my physiotherapist she has recorded a video on um you know making sure that we keep our hands and our body basically proper having it in a proper position so that we can crochet for longer have you seen that video i just want to I want to boast it's it's my physiotherapist. She's amazing. So if you haven't watched that video, um, you have to watch that video. She's amazing. Maria Vermeulen, hello everyone. Hello, you're welcome. It's lovely having you. <laughs> yeah, so um, that video was done by Marietta, our physiotherapist. And um, Oh, she's such a joy, such, such, such a joy. If you're in Bloemfontein area and you are looking for a good physiotherapist, that's your person. You need to, you need to, um, you can make an appointment at her practice. She's really amazing. Um, Rosemary says, no, I didn't see the video. Will you resend it to me, Yaline? Yes, I will. I will. If I forget, remind me, please, Rosemary. She's really amazing. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, tell me in your areas that you are part of uh, with for this um, Safari Crochet Marathon. Are you linked with the group? When do your group come together to crochet blocks? Are you having get togethers prior to the 26th and the 27th of May? Um, how is the, the, you know, the atmosphere at your, at your groups? Tell me more about your groups. I know in our group, we are also very excited. Like I said, we are going to have curry and rice and soup, butternut soup, coffee on tap. Um, yeah, it's, we are so excited. It's, it's, we are really looking forward to the 26th and 27th of um, May. I'm going to crochet so we have sorted out our time schedules for our group and i think oops i've bumped the the phone <laughs> i think i my slot is from eight o'clock till 12 o'clock at night on the friday night because i just want to get home after work settle myself sort out the family and then eight o'clock i'll be heading to Aniki's place and we will sit there till 12 o'clock there's other people crocheting from 12 onwards through the night and then I think I'm meeting up with them at two o'clock again. I, that's what I think my time frame is. Yes, but I, I might wake up the next morning and join them early again. You never know. Um, 
I'm so excited. So excited. I think we're going to have so much fun. And I believe also that there will be a live stream from the main video, a main venue. So maybe Brenda, that is something that I can tell you, is that um, you will still form part of a group of people, even though you might be alone on your couch in her, at your home, because you'll be able to join with a live stream. And um, the other reason I'm also hosting these live streams weekly now in um, anticipation of the event is to maybe have a place where you can crochet for an hour um, and feel part of a group as well. And then also, you know, creating more awareness, um, answering the questions pertaining to the Safari Crochet Marathon and um, having fun crocheting together, right? Um, so that is the idea of this life. So there will be another life next week again. Um, probably it's going to be the same time because of load shedding. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's it's really, really lovely. So yeah, we have two groups. One at the alpaca center with the crafty alpaca group. And, the, and then another group in Meyerton with Mori Krier. Um, we all got together on Wednesday and crocheted on our squares. We had so much fun. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I know within our group, um, there's days also where the ladies get together. Unfortunately, I'm not able to attend because I'm working. You see, work is really standing in my way of having fun. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm really grateful for my work. Um, but yeah. So that is, that is lovely, Sonia. I, I saw on the um, Facebook group of Artica via Orange Nest, there's also a lot of ladies in, in around the country meeting up at restaurants and houses and crochet together I, I and it's lovely i love the camaraderie and the fun it seems like everybody is just enjoying it and that's what it's all about almary this is what you needed to wind down no matter that you have to frock <laughs> Uh, yeah. Who was frogging? Did I miss something? Who frogged? Who frogged? Who frogged? Somebody frogged. Um, for those that doesn't know, frogging means you're taking out. Oh, the two rows. Yes, I get what you're saying now, Almer. Yeah. You know, sometimes even though you're, I was saying earlier that I was that I would be knitting or crocheting at night, very very late. And I need to stop because I need to go to bed. But sometimes I'm crocheting like, like this. And then the next day when I'm checking my work, I need to frock, meaning I have to take out rows because I made a mess while I was in the state of basically sleeping while I was crocheting. But yeah, it's true what you're saying, um, Almarie. You, you are needing that to wind down. So last night, my daughter was actually sleeping with us in the room because she was not feeling well at all. Um, she had a very quick heart rate and she was struggling. She felt like she also couldn't breathe, but that's because she's just a little bit sick. So she was sleeping with us in the room and she was saying to me, Mom, you need to play this game, Cats and Soup. So I was downloading this game. But the music is so calming of, you know, the, these cats are making soup. And now you have to let them do the things and you have to sell the soup and I didn't know what else. And um, I could only manage to play this game for 15 minutes. And then I was asleep. I fell asleep with a phone in my hand because the music was so calming <laughs> that I couldn't keep my eyes open. Um, and, you know, luckily for me, it's, it's really a blessing and I'm really grateful that the moment that I put my head down on my cushion, I'm gone. I sleep immediately. Um, I'm really grateful for that so that I don't, you know, s s roll around awake and wait for the sleep to come. I'm one of those people that if my head touches my pillow, I'm sleeping immediately. So yeah, playing that cat game didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> oh joy so okay let's see quickly how many rows i've done so far let's count how many rows i've done 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows. I know for me, getting a 20 by 20 centimeter, I need to do 10 rows. So I still need to do um, two rows. When we were talking, um, when we got the get together on Thursday afternoon at our venue, there were some ladies that can get the 20 by 20 centimeter block with only eight rows. It's so interesting how our gauge or how our tension is different and how it's making an impact in terms of, you know, the size that you're able to obtain with your tension when you're crocheting. So, um, yeah, mine is 10 rows. There's some ladies that's doing eight rows. How many rows are you doing in a block? That would be interesting. If you're doing a granny square, how many rows do you do to be able to get a 20 by 20 centimeter block? Let me know in the live chat. Yes, yeah, so that was, that was quite interesting to me. And I don't regard myself as a tight crocheter though. I am not a tight crocheter. So I was quite, um, it was quite interesting to me that there's lady that, ladies that are able to do um, eight rows for a granny square of 20 by 20 centimeter. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Yes. Let me tell you, I am really looking forward to the soup. I am really looking forward to the soup. I can hear my stomach is telling me, you need soup, you need food. Yeah, I hope the soup is ready though, when we are done. Rosemary says, I also have to crochet 10 rows to make a 20, 20, cent 20 by 20 centimeter block. Claudette says, also 10 rows. Um, Amanda says, um, I'm doing corner to corner, corner C to C. Corner to corner granny squares. I join as you go. I need to do 13 rows. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. You know, I, I still need to do the join as you go methods. I'm interested in that, but I also don't want to start and then I am basically committing myself to doing a blanket. I think that is what's holding me back currently. Um... But that sounds amazing, Amanda. And um, I haven't done a corner-to-corner -corner granny square. A corner-to-corner -corner, um, granny stitch square, though. I think I need to maybe sometimes, somewhere, dive into that as well. I know the normal corner-to-corner... -corner, oh, it is so addictive. I love, love a corner-to-corner -corner blanket. Very much so. All right, I think I'm now nearing the last eighth row. Let me join. There we go. There we go. Eight rows done. Two more to go. All right. Amanda says, it's very easy and fun, and I've bumped you again. I'm so sorry. Um, I love it. It's much easier than the normal corner-to-corner. -corner. Really? Oh, wow. I need to go and um, search for a Google tutorial um, so that I can maybe try that out. There is just such a, a meditative way and repetition and rhythm of doing granny clusters, right? It brings me really a lot of joy, I have to say. I was dreaming up um, maybe doing some sort of a cardigan or almost like a coat, doing only granny stitches or granny squares. But it's something that is just in my mind. Maybe in future I will dive into that. But then if I do that, I will do um, merino yarn when I want to maybe do something like that for myself. Rosemary says, I crocheted a corner to corner granny square once. It was enjoyable. Ask Leonie about the corner to corner, um, join us, you go, Yali, she has a YouTube video. Oh, goodness. Okay, Rosemary, thank you for that. I'll definitely check out Leonie's Independence Yarn Crafts um, video on YouTube. Oh, thank you very, very much. 
yeah, I would love to be able to support a local um, South African YouTuber to check out the thingies. Definitely. Um, what did I want to ask? Claudette, would you say that the corner to corner granny squares, um, because you have said that you've done seven um, blankets so far, do you think it's working up quicker than a normal granny square block? Um, would you, what would be your advice there? I would love to know. Oh, dearie me. It feels like there's going to be a, a little knot in the yarn. Okay, it's sorted out. It's sorted out. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. <laughs> it's just horrible when you pull a yarn and there's like this just big ball of messiness that's coming out that you have to untangle to be able to continue your crocheting. It just breaks your rhythm, right? So I was considering if I should maybe take these balls of yarn and wind them on my yarn winder. But then also, you know, I was thinking how much time am I going to lose um, to just wind my, my balls of yarn onto the yarn winder. And I was deciding now I must just, so that is my current strategy. Claudette says, yeah, beslis, that is super makkelijk in vanag. Oh, wow. I wish I knew that because then I would have maybe <laughs> done the corner to corner granny cluster squares. Oh, joy. And how many blocks are you able to get from a hundred gram yarn ball, a ball of yarn? Because it's so interesting to me from these normal um, solid skeins, the solid balls of yarn, I'm getting four blocks out of this. But for the multicolored one, I got, I think it's five. Two, three, four. Yes, five. I got five blocks out of the multicolored one. It's but then also, I, unfortunately, I don't have the, um, the yarn balls with me here. Um, I remembered that there's a, a higher meter reach on the variegated yarn, the multicolored yarn, than the solid colors. The solid colors is 300 meters per 100 gram. And if memory serves me well, I think the multicolored one is... 360 meters on a 100 gram um, ball of yarn. So maybe that's the reason why I'm able to get more blocks on the multicolored one than on a solid um, ball of yarn. Claudette says, six blocks with the border on Elkin. So she's doing six blocks from a 100 grams um, ball of yarn with a, bo um, a border on each one. That is quite significant. That's good. What yarn are you using, Claudette? Um, I'm using Kismet, Kismet's lollipop. Uh, wait, am I lying? No, I'm not. <laughs> Kismet's lollipop. That's what I'm using. And the colored one, the multicolored one is Funky Stripes, also from Kismet. So um, it will be interesting to hear what you're using. Judith from Australia. Hello, Judith. It's lovely. I was thinking about you this week and I was wondering how you are doing. Um, hello, Yelin. Groote van Judith in Melbourne, Australia. Wish I could join you off to bed now. Like a recall. Oh, Judith. I'm so, I'm so excited and feel loved that you quickly just popped in to say hi. I hope you're well. And sleep tight. <laughs> Claudette says she's using charity decay. Okay. How many meters are on a hundred gram, um, Claudette? Sorry, I'm asking all the questions. <laughs> but it will be quite interesting to know. I don't I don't know those numbers from my head. 
um, of, or out of my head. It will be interesting if it's also 300 meters of charity. Tika Yon. Yes. Um, so we are just going to have a very slow afternoon. I'm supposed to actually record a podcast also. But the load shedding doesn't help. Um, then I'm not able to record. It's just a mess <laughs> because we don't have power. So um, maybe still I'll be able to record a podcast in the afternoon showing all my projects and my whoops, my works in progress and my finished objects, which this is actually one of them. My beanie. I love this beanie. And um, yeah, so I really need to do that. And there's a great giveaway, a great giveaway that's going to come. On, on that podcast episode. Um, so just for your information, it's going to be awesome. Done with a nine throw. Okay, wait, let me just quickly join this row before I read the comments. There we go. The ninth row is done. Now for the last row. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, ninth, a tenth row. And then I'm done with my block. There was a lady, I think last week, um, in the chat. I can't remember who it was now, the name. But she's able to do three blocks in an hour. Isn't that amazing? That's really amazing. Um, I'm not able to do that. I'm not able to do that. Rosemary says, I got three blocks from 100 gram with some left. L gold DK. I don't have a scale to weigh what I have left. I thought I would then use the leftovers to make another square maybe. That's a great idea. Great idea. Yes, you can definitely do that. And then with all those leftovers, you can make so much more. Claudette says it's a 233 meters for the charity DK. Okay, that's interesting. 233? Really? And this is 300 meters. That is quite interesting. Wow. Okay, I find I found I found that very interesting, I have to say. So charity has 233 meters by 100 gram. Kismet Lollipop has 300 meters um, per 100 gram. I found that interesting, don't you? That for me is interesting. And it's both double knit yarn. That's the weight of the yarn. Very interesting. Oh, dearie me. I'm making a mess. I'm getting to the last bits and pieces. So, um, here we go. Um, Rosemary says, I have to leave now. We'll chat soon. Okay, Rosemary, thank you for coming along and saying hi. You must have a super, super afternoon. Claudette says, Lollipop is by a dinner as Charity DK. Lollipop is much thinner than Charity DK. Yes, that is... And you know what is interesting to me, um, Claudette? Charity being thicker than lollipop and you still get six blocks from it. So it's, it's that six blocks, 20 by 20 centimeter. Because that for me is, is what's boggling my mind. Honestly, <laughs> that boggles my mind. Gina says, I think Charity Dika is closer to an Aaron weight. Yes. Um, in practical terms, yes. So there's, there's definitely, in terms of how we talk about the weights of yarn um, worldwide, there's differences how we talk about yarn. So, for instance, we will say double knit. And, no, I'm going to not give good examples now. But, for instance, some would talk about four ply and eight ply and um, things like that. Whereas other people will talk about double knit and iron weight and worsted weight and fingering weight. Um, 
But I agree, Gina, for me, it almost sounds like Charity DK is definitely more closer to an Aaron Waite yarn. Um, that I agree with you. I agree with you. All right, I'm going like a Boeing on my block. It's going well, it's going well. I'm in a rhythm now. There we go, there we go, there we go. Some, and then it stops because the yarn is holding me back, holding me back. Let me just pull out, you see what's happening? That is what's happening. It's not flowing. So frustrating, so frustrating that I just have to be patient and pull the yarn gently, gently from the middle. Do you use your yarn from the outside or do you do inner pull, meaning from the inside? That I would like to know. I like to use the yarn from the inside. So I search for that starting point in the middle of the yarn ball um, that's what I like to do but sometimes when you are nearing the end of the yarn it's becoming a little bit fiddly more difficult to use <laughs> all right we are rolling we are rolling we are rolling where did I start there we go we're almost almost halfway Um, yo, there's a lot of messages now. Vilna, I love Vilna Foster. You're very welcome. So like from so much to sit in Nickel Dear your live broadcast van Mpumalanga and Marloth Park. Oh, I'm visiting Marloth end of June, beginning of July. Vilna, if 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 everything works out, that's what I'm gonna do. So oh you are so welcome. Um Maar ek gaan inskakel by VEK Wildroop Park. Okay, so she's going to be at Wildroop Park during the 30 hour marathon. Claudette says, ek gebruik a 4.5 mm nol. So ek dink dit mag ook dat ek verder kom met die charity. Okay, interesting. Yes, it could be. If you're using a bigger, bigger hook, it could be yes. Sonia says, I'm just loving this live. Also crocheting with you, Janine, we should do this more often, love it. Oh, Sonia, I'm so happy to hear that you love it. Um, the intention is that even though um, the Safari Crochet is going to stop at end of May, I'm going to make an effort to do this more live. Um, I think there's really a need for people like Brenda, for instance, that said she's alone, you know. There's people that wants to form part of a community or just sit and crochet with somebody else. And I want to be able to give that platform. So I'll, I'll definitely do this more. Um, you can tell me, the others can tell me what you think of that suggestion. Um, then I will definitely do this um, this more. Obviously over weekends only because weekdays is just hectic. Um, Amanda says, Chick um, Sika Yon, Dika Yon is 250 meter, is 250 meters. All right, 250, um, using that for the blanket. I did about 10 loose blocks with Charity 10 um, Dika, and I agree, agree, Charity is thicker. Yes, definitely. Uh, and then Sonia says, Axtem so met Vilna. Oh, sweet. Gina says, I like inside too, and when making my own cakes, I wind them for the inside. Exactly, Gina. That is exactly how I like to do that as well. When I'm winding yarn on my... Um, um, yarn winder. I like a center pull as well. That's how I like to roll with a center pull. Um, so yeah, I, I don't do, I don't work my yarn from the outside, from the yarn ball. Then Gina says, it's go, it's, I see it's going to take me nine rounds with a DK and a four millimeter to get to 20 centimeters. That's interesting, Gina. So you're doing nine rounds. I'm doing 10 rounds. Some other people are doing eight rounds. That's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Um, that for me is interesting. 
Um, Sonia says, I also prefer center pull. Yes. Yes, absolutely. It just, the yarn is standing still. It's not moving. You're just taking the yarn from the inside, right? <laughs> it makes a big difference. I also love a center pull. However, last year, one of the cakes, the yarn cakes, I think it was um, yarn art, a yarn art flower cake. I, the one I used from the inside and the other yarn I used from the outside, I was using two yarns together, but I wanted to create that color effect in terms of how the colors was in that yarn art. So sometimes you are doing things in another way just to be able to get an effect that you want. Yes, I think I need to take a bit of a sip of water. Where's my water? My husband brought me water earlier. Here we go. I'm almost done with my block. <laughs> and I have some berries here. With the family being sick, I decided we have to get our antioxidants in. So I bought some berries. And I made everyone eat berries this afternoon or earlier. So that we can have a more good sources of vitamin from fruits. <laughs> um, and getting the household healthy again. There we go. There we go. We are closing in on the end. We are closing in on the end. Let me see. You see now I'm struggling again with this story. Let me see. Let me see. So what I do is I always try to take a little bit out so that I don't get impatient. So then at least I have a little bit of yarn here that I can work with. There we go. I'm done with the block. Let me see. Let's count. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done, done, done. Let me cut my yarn. There we go. Cut my yarn. Do -do. I did it. I did it. Another granny square towards the Safari Crochet Marathon. All right, let's see. Sonia says, I'm a coffee holic. Sonia, that's me. I love coffee. <laughs> the people at work know. They know. I cannot operate if I don't have a certain amount of coffees um, in, my, in my system. So I absolutely agree with you. And I'm a coffee snob. Don't give me bad coffee. <laughs> Claudette says, I can super stout. I get fudge. Terwijl ik saw Mikkel. I'm eating fudge while I'm crocheting with you guys. Claudette, that sounds amazing. Fudge. My father-in-law makes the best fudge. Claudette, um, Anita says, Claudette, that sounds yummy. And Sonia says, mm, Claudette, fudge and coffee gaan som. It's working together, coffee and fudge. Absolutely. Anita says, I'm addicted to coffee and chocolate. <laughs> That's it, right? That's what's life all about. Oh, a good chocolate. And I would like to know, Anita, do you like dark chocolate? Because dark chocolate. You know what chocolate I really love? Is there's um, at Woolies. That I love Turkish Delight. I love Turkish Delight. I love nougat. And, um, but there's a Turkish Delight that's wrapped. It's like a, quite a big size of Turkish Delight. But it's wrapped in chocolate. And you only find it at Woolies, at Woolworths. It's a local, it's a supermarket here we have, a grand supermarket actually, in um, South Africa. And, but I believe there's one also in Australia. Am I right? Anne, are you still here? I think they might have gone to bed already. But um, I think Woolworths is also in Australia. And, um, but that, that chocolate is like my favorite. I love that chocolate. Anywho, I'm trying to quickly just put this into a, a bowl. Gina says, lint with sea salt. Yes, I've, I've tasted that. That is quite, quite nice as well. 
Yes, yes, I love that. I love, 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 love that. Good chocolate is just good, right? Um, yeah. But did you see the price of chocolate going out, up? It's horrible. I was so shocked over the weekend, last weekend, when I, when I was standing in front of the chocolate aisle. And I was like, what happened to the prices of chocolate? It's crazy. Almeri says 12 rounds on a 4 millimeter hook. Wow, Almeri. And now we have 8 rounds, 9 rounds, 10 rounds and 12 rounds. That's what we're doing to get 20, 20, uh, 20 by 20 centimeter blocks. All right. Almeri says 12 rounds. Oh, no, no I, just, I, I read that one already. And then Gina says, yes, Woolies is opened in Australia. Yes, I thought so. I thought I was right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to quickly complete this. And um, I'm almost done yarn, yarn, um, winding the yarn. I want to thank you so much, much for joining me today and sitting with me while I'm crocheting my block and keeping me company. It was a lot of fun. And um, I'll definitely see you next week again. So it'd probably be the same place, the same time. And um, enjoy crocheting your blocks and your crafting time. Claudette says, Alles wat suiker bevat is dierder oor nacht. Everything that contains sugar is just getting more expensive by the day. Yeah, it's, it's really sad. All right. So thank you so much, everyone for forming part of the live chat and watching and supporting the channel and i hope that you will have a super weekend and um wait gina says i read somewhere that the price of cocoa beans will grow ever more expensive due to scarcely scarcity with a growing world middle class oh wow sonia says yippee so blow and see mekaar weer volgende week yes sonia i will see you and then amanda said leandra het geantwoord Daar is nog nie een venue in Richard's Boy of in Pangeni nie. Sê vraag dat die persoon haar kontak asjeblief. Dankie. Thank you so very much, Amanda. There's no venue currently at Richard's Bay or in Pangeni. But um, please contact, uh, contact Leandra. Um, Brenda, that was you that was asking this. So please make contact with, with them so that they can assist you. Maybe you can host the event. Imagine that. Um, and then everybody's saying, enjoy your Mother's Day tomorrow. Everyone in the chat, thank you so much, Sonia. And Anita saying, thank you. Sonia saying, thank you. So everyone, have a super day. Enjoy your Mother's Day tomorrow. Enjoy your weekend. It was lovely crocheting with all of you. And um, stay blessed. I'll see you next week. Doodles. You'll probably see me before the time because I'm going to do my podcast. So you can watch that as well. Bye, everyone.